Hey guys, this is Sims 3 Copper Fox bringing you episode 6 of the Black Hearts Challenge. And I'm putting out two episodes today because I didn't put one out on Friday. And me and my husband have both been really sick. Not like crazy, crazy sick, but just like achy body, cough, not really wanting to get out of bed all weekend. So we kind of just lounged about the couch. And we're hoping to have some copper craft out this next weekend because we know it's been a couple weekends. Um, mostly because he's been sick. I was only, oops, sorry. I was only sick for a short period of time there. I don't know. I don't even feel like I ever really got fully sick, but <clears throat> I was also just taking care of him. So I'm hoping to get back on a normal schedule this week. So in doing so, I am giving you an extra episode today. Um, to make up for the lost episode from last week, last Friday. But um, I played a little bit in game and not recording basically. And Grail has upped his piano skill and Raiden has upped his gardening skill. And right now we're about to have some, um, let's see, we're about to have some tummy action. Let's see. Oh, Grail. He's like feeling her tummy and he's gonna listen to her tummy. Cause you know, he's very excited about this offspring that's uh -huh. his and he is just overjoyed at the thought of having a child. So, of course. And now he's going to kiss her. And doesn't she look so adorable? I love that Odette's clothes stay with her during the pregnancy. I think that that is so awesome. So I just wanted to have a little few cute moments in there. Oh me, oh my. She is in labor and Grail is on the phone. Well, he can't take her to the hospital. The rules state that she does have to have the baby at home. So I guess we're just gonna freak out. Grail is just like not even phased by this. What's Raiden doing? Raiden, are you freaking out? Look at her hands because the dress like goes over with her belly being all big. It makes it look funny. Oh my goodness, is it gonna be a boy or is it gonna be a girl? You guys, I can't remember the last time I didn't cheat like the sex of a baby on this show, on like any of my series. So this is kind of exciting. I think, I wanna say like maybe one of the babies in Into the Future wasn't cheated, maybe the first child, I don't remember, but usually I always cheat the sex of the baby. So we're gonna fast forward through this because I don't wanna sit here and watch her like be in labor forever in a day. Do you guys remember on The Sims 2, at least on life stories, how you'd get like little, um, like, I guess, what would you call that? Oh, it's a girl. I was not expecting that. Um, I was, what was I going to say? Oh, you would get like little cinematic clips when cool things would happen and like this, the plum bots or plum bombs would like separate and it would give you like a secondary one if you were having a baby. Anyways, <clears throat> my goodness, sorry. Congratulations on a new baby girl. I think this was actually suggested to me on my Into the Future LP. I think I want to name her Indigo because I think that is a freaking sweet name. So Indigo it is. Um, Indigo. I don't think there were any traits specified for the baby. Um, I feel like the child is supposed to be evil, though, like take after her dad. So we'll do that anyways, regardless of if it was supposed to be or not. I don't think traits were specified for some reason, but we'll make her evil because that's what Grail would want to see anyways. And we will make her, let's make her virtuoso as well, because that's a cool trait. And if it needs to be changed, I can go back and change it later. Uh, she's still in labor. Okay, play. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, sparkles! Itty Bipso toy. Itty Bipso toy. All right, so we've got baby Indigo, and let's go ahead and put her up in the crib. Odette is so happy about the birth of their child. She leans in and tells Grail how much she loves him. Grail, furious, pushes her away and starts yelling, and tells her, "You are useless to me now, my dear." You have served your purpose. Odette was so confused by it all, but Grail immediately took her up to the tower and locked her away, never to be talked to again and to be completely forgotten about. But 
there was something else there, lurking, hiding in the shadows. It frightened Odette. Okay, guys, so this is the section of the house that we have not talked about. I hope I didn't, like, shock anybody with that little clip there because I know there are some people that didn't read the challenge, which I don't expect you to. I expect that nobody's going to read it and you're just going to see the gameplay, which is how it should be. But, um, so I hope that that wasn't, like, super disappointing to anybody because if you watch my challenges in the past, you guys know that most of my stuff, like the Opposite Princess challenge, I was really mean and I killed all my characters off. And what else? Oh, the Snatch by the Fae challenge. I mean, no, that one was pretty happy, I guess. But, like, I am definitely more notorious for, like, not having very happy challenges. <laughs> so, um... Now what has happened is, um, this is Voiler, Voiler, and I gave him the last name Crown. I don't know. It was just random. He is a werewolf and let me kind of go over his traits really quick where, wow, he like really takes care of himself well. Um, no sense of humor, insane, hot headed, evil, and mean spirited. So, um, I basically had to set both their free wills up all the way. They cannot leave this area. Uh, the third floor, which is quote, quote, the dungeon, but I guess it's more like a tower in this case. You guys know that I like towers if you watch any of my previous stuff as well. I'm not a huge fan of basements. Um, so there's like a bathroom with a door. There's a bed that they are going to have to share. And as far as I know, their relationship should be neutral. If it's not, then, oh, they don't even have a relationship. So, oh, wow. Why? Do, oh, he like hates everybody in the house. That's right. They have a really bad relationship. Oh, I did that for filming purposes originally when I made the cutscene, but their relationship needs to just be neutral. So that's where they are now. And um, it can negatively affect the game later if their relationship goes down or up. It kind of has a certain point to the story at the end. So we kind of just have to leave them alone and see how that goes. They have all their basic necessities except for the sharing the bed thing. That's going to be interesting. But uh, yeah, this is their place. So um, I did give them like an easel. I could have made things a lot worse on them. I could have not given them a shower. I could have not given them an easel. I feel like I kind of made living not horrible for them. In fact, I think I'm going to make living more horrible for them. So I'm going to delete that. And I think I'm also going to delete the shower. I know. I'm such a jerk. I don't know. Originally, I thought I was going to let them live a little bit nicer, but nope. I think I'm going to take it away. So that's where she is now. So Raiden knows nothing of what has just gone on. He thinks that Odette was rushed to the hospital and had gotten food poisoning from Leia's cooking and that she died at the hospital. So Raiden is completely furious and he just takes all of his rage out on Leia and Leia is outside for some reason. So we're going to have to bring her inside, but he just, he is just somewhat heartbroken. You know, I mean, he, he had feelings for her that like previously stated, he never really acted upon them, but he is just madder than a hornet's nest at Leia. And it's so out of character for, uh, for her Raiden to ever really show anger, but it just really goes to show how much he really wow. truly my cared God, for God, Odette God. and thinking that she's <laughs> dead is just really traumatizing to him almost. No. So we are trying to reach max negativity Curse. with Leia now, which we were previously acquaintances. So so we're just going to keep being really mean to her. And, oh, this like breaks my heart because I know the inside Raiden really is like a nice person. And so this is just really sad. So we're just going to keep filling the queue with all of these negative things. And their negative bars are usually pretty quick to fill. So leisure day is approaching. Nope, nope. Yeah, this should be pretty quick to fill. So I believe that now we are actually on to chapter four, which we, we have been like this entire episode pretty much. So 
Also, there's apparently a ghost approaching the lot. Oh, snap! Leia beat his booty! Oh, why didn't they finish? Bite, yell at, bite, slap. Actually, let's not slap her. That's not, I don't know. I feel like that's super not nice. Like, I know he just, like, brawled with her, but I don't know. I, I just, I'm not down with just slapping. That is, like, such a grail move. Insult, the bar is almost completely filled. All right, we have reached max negativity with Leia, and we are not buds. We are not buds by any means. So, Raiden, why don't you go and... Where's your book? Is it here? Go read your book. Leave Leia alone. Um, Leia actually needs to go and tend to the baby, because now that is her job to take care of the baby, because, you know, Odette is just gone and Leia doesn't even know why Raiden was so upset with her she just oh my goodness more ghosts sorry more ghost music so it's her job to come here and make sure that the baby is all well taken care of baby indigo and let's do the snuggles Leia has got it under control. Okay, so baby indigo, how you doing? Bladder's good. Everything looks good. So let's put baby indigo back in the curb. I still can't believe that it was a girl. Like, I feel like every time I have children in this game, if I don't cheat their sex, it's always a boy. So I'm really surprised that it was a girl this time. I don't think that's ever happened to me. I don't think I've ever gotten a girl without cheating the game. No, I don't want to hear your plot, Grail. <laughs> he was going to tell her his plot. What a weirdo. What a weirdo. Okay, so this episode is going to be a lot shorter. Like, I'm sure this episode is crazy short. But what you got to know is when I do cinematics in the game, like how I just had that cut scene in the middle, it takes so much time to produce those videos. Like, I spend probably a good 12 hours putting that together. So... That's why this episode is going to be so short. So I'm sorry if any of you guys feel like it was super, super short. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you want to like, if you like that I kind of jump ahead in the game and show what happens. Or do you guys want to see every single day of the game played from here on out? Like right now, all we really have to do is just raise the child for the time being. And if you want, like, I can keep playing sim days and just doing stuff, upping skills, etc. But I feel like that gets kind of repetitive after a while. And if that's what you guys want to see, by all means, I have no problem doing that. But I don't, I don't want to, like, bore you guys or anything with just the monotonous gameplay every day and not really having a goal in mind until aging up happens. So uh, let me know in the comment section below what you want to see. Uh, and I will see you guys in episode seven, which should be up on Wednesday because I'm trying really hard to be dedicated to my schedule this week and, uh, be sure to check out the description bar below. If you want to download any of these characters, they'll be in the description bar and follow me on Twitter. If you want to be involved with me more on a personal level and also Facebook, because everything from Twitter gets connected to Facebook. Uh, all those links are in the doobly doobly do. So, uh, yeah, I think that's all I really have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Sims 3 Copper Fox signing off.